Dementia is the seventh leading cause of death worldwide. Yet less than 20 percent of the World Health Organization member states have met their commitment to develop a national dementia plan by 2025. Professor Tan Mao Pin from University Malaya looks at Malaysia's progress in launching its own plan. We have asked to see the final draft, um, but from what, I, what from we gather from the um, government officials that we've been in communication with, the, the it's currently being edited and uh, and tidied up so that it looks uh, like a well presented document, but we wouldn't expect it to depart very far from the initial drafts. So we do know that the National Dementia Action Plan will align itself with the World Health Organization Global Action Plan for Dementia, which was which started in 2017, and actually the call for action uh, ends in 2025. So one of the calls for action is for um, 75% of the member countries, the 194 member countries, to have a National Dementia Action Plan. And Malaysia actually meets the target. And uh, many other countries who signed up to this actually are not going to get there by 2025. So we are actually doing pretty well as a nation, considering all the, all the trials and tribulations, including a huge pandemic that got in our way. And we actually don't know for sure whether the plan is going to be funded. And all of us are basically holding our breath to find out whether there will be funds uh, in the next budget, 2025 budget, that will be allocated specifically to the delivery of the National Dementia Action Plan. But also we know that it's we, it's not just um, 2025 budget, but also we are coming up to the next uh, National Malaysia Plan. So um, hopefully in the Malaysia Plan will also be coming up with allocations that will actually help deliver on the National Dimension, Dementia Action Plan. Um, but we have currently no information on how the national, how or whether the National Dementia Action Plan is going to be funded. And we're all waiting to hear.